Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Maddie here today, bringing you a Fallout 4 speculation and discussion video. Now, before anything, be sure to check out the link in the description of my previous video. That is a Fallout 4 news update on how Fallout 4 will support non-violent playthrough. So if you're a pacifist, check that out. Anyways, you have been warned. This is speculation. And the reason I'm saying that is because we're talking about Nora, the wife in Fallout 4, and if she is dead or not. And the reason I'm saying this is because it can go vice versa. It can be the wife or the husband. But since we've only seen the demo from the husband's perspective, that's why we're talking about the wife in this case. So do not think I'm like a sexist. But nonetheless, um, you have been warned. This is going to be some crazy speculation. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, is she dead? This is news that's uh, been something we've wanted to discuss for a while because of QuakeCon and how they confirmed that we are in fact able to romance our companions when it comes to Fallout 4. And everyone was like, well, you know, that's amazing. That's awesome. We've always wanted that in Fallout. But, um, uh, you know, that wife that you kind of had in the beginning of the game, what, what about her? Um, and I, I got thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, that's kind of true. But then I started to think of how Fallout 4 kind of follows a similar story template to Fallout 3. And by this, I mean, you take a look at it, it's still that same family scenario, I feel. I feel that's gonna be a core structure to this overall story arc. Um, it's something with the family, man. They, they'd establish it, they hit it home right from the start. Um, you could just see the, the chemistry between the husband and the wife, and so that's why I wanna discuss whether or not she's dead, because why would you be able to just go ahead and romance these companions if she's alive considering you're married? In fact, you see during the E3 demo, uh, you wake up with your wedding ring on, but also, what's more interesting is that we see in the miscellaneous section a note that says, we are done. I'm not saying this has to pertain to their relationship, but it's just one of those things where I think to myself, hmm, considering it's right next to your new assignment, so I'm assuming this is a Pip-Boy they picked up, and these are all these logs that they found in the prologue section of the game. So, like I said, this is crazy speculation. I warned you, I've just spitballing ideas here. But is she alive is the question because of all this being said. We still see that he has the wedding ring from when he entered cryo sleep. Uh, we see a note that says we are done that could pertain to their relationship. But we also see that you can romance companions. Now is this to say that Nora is perhaps a companion? I don't know because you can customize both of them, they said. And then Todd Howard said a baby is created out of this. So I feel like I said that this follows Fallout 3 so much in the way where, you know, the way you create your character is how your dad looks. You know, your mom's gone, you're chasing your dad. In this case, it could be the mom is dead and you're chasing the baby who, you know, it looks like you and the mom put together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it follows that same template of, uh, you know, caring about the family, but also, you know, even that same structure of how they look and stuff. And um, it's really crazy, but in my opinion, is she dead or not? I feel like she has to be dead. And the reason I say that is because it kind of gives you a reason to go and play from a female perspective for more than one reason. Obviously, when you play as a female, the Wasteland's going to treat you different. Todd Howard said some of the lines of dialogue are going to be different. They interpret situations differently. They react differently. And that's awesome. But also, I feel like now, if you have the female alive and you're interacting with her and experiencing her through the male's eyes, it's like... I'm not saying why wouldn't you obviously we're here on this channel we're all fallout fans who are going to be playing this game male female good evil etc you get what i'm saying um i just wonder that if she's constantly with you you're interacting with her in the story you kind of for lack of better words get your fill of nora and you're like well i don't really have to play as her i know what's happened to her in the wasteland where um you know if it's vice versa and you're playing as a woman then the husband would be dead you get what i'm saying where you're not constantly interacting with him because now you want to know what happens to them from their perspective and see how they react to stuff. Um, I feel it would be interesting, but nonetheless, this is all speculation, complete speculation. There really is no supporting evidence to this other than the romance and companions, which could just be like, yeah, you can go back to your wife or you can go and have intercourse with multiple partners, you know? <laughs> um, but anyways, I just want to go ahead and just spitball some ideas I've been having. This is a topic I was really excited to talk about because um, I'm really curious what happens to the family and I, I wanted to go ahead and discuss that with you guys today. So let me know what you are thinking on Sugar Bombed and in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.